News, the number one destination for your local and global tech news made in Miami. I'm Liam Fabre. And I'm Sophia Zool. The stream team is currently working hard on providing the best streaming experience for mega events like the FIFA World Cup and Copa America. As stream CEO Gio Punzo explains, everything must be perfect for these large events. The video quality of the experience needs to be premium and you have to pass all the strict requirements from FIFA, says Punzo. This isn't the first mega event for Strain, and in fact, Strain has added several more features to the experience, such as resume watching, polls and chatting, all programs designed to boost engagement and increase monetization. Just another example of how Strain goes above and beyond. Entrepreneur and social media icon Gary V has raised over $20 million in NFT sales since launching his new NFT campaign, V Friends, earlier this month. V Friends is a collection of around 10,000 NFTs designed and sold by Gary V that offer several bonus features. The NFTs offer three year admission to VCon, a multi day super conference that will offer iconic keynote speakers and educational talks, panels, and QAs with special guests. Try to think of them as tickets to VCon because the actual NFTs themselves are, are pretty ugly. My niece could draw a better one, and she is two years old. Netflix and Adobe are betting on TikTok's massive global appeal to find their next great untold story. The contest, which is accepting applications until mid-June, will give three winning creators $10,000 and the opportunity to develop their concept into short films. Netflix is trying to capitalize on TikTok's 700 million users worldwide as it searches for talent and content ideas. So if you're frustrated that talentless 17-year-old girls are getting rich and famous on TikTok, Strian has some bad news for you too. They're getting Netflix deals as well. As more streaming services become available, consumers are becoming more picky about who they subscribe to. As a result, streamers are launching ad-supported options to better compete for subscriber dollars. HBO Max will be launching an ad-supported tier starting at $19.99, which will be available in June. Ad-free HBO costs $5 more, coming in at $14.99. So with this new cheaper option, you can sit back and watch your HBO ads while you drink your $6 Starbucks and think about all the money you're saving. The Billboard Music Awards were held this week and the big winners were The Weeknd and popular K-pop boy band BTS. The Weeknd took home 10 awards, including Top Artist and Top Hot Song. BTS picked up trophies in four different categories. Ratings for the BBMAs were at an all-time low this year. Wait, you're telling me the winners were The Weeknd and a K-pop boy band and the ratings were low? I wonder why. Chase Beckham has won the American Idol competition on Sunday. The 24-year-old singer from Apple Valley, California was crowned winner of this year's series after a three-hour long grand finale. The former forklift operator will now release his debut album via his new BMG record label. What an amazing transformation. He's now famous, he has a record deal lined up, soon he'll be traveling the world making millions of dollars. Also in other news, a warehouse in Apple Valley, California is looking for a forklift operator. The hours are 9 to 5 and the pay is $10 an hour. Apple has been making a push recently to protect your data and private information from the social media giants, and Facebook is not too happy about it. You may have noticed since upgrading to iOS 14.5 that you've been asked about sharing private information. Even if you decline, there are still ways that Facebook is secretly tracking you. Things like approving your location to offer geotagging on photos tells Facebook exactly where you are. I know you're trying to show off by saying you're at the Four Seasons, but this is letting Facebook track you. If you want to look rich, just do it the old-fashioned way. Take pictures in front of a Ferrari and don't tag your location. 149 people were arrested over the weekend after a viral TikTok video drew thousands to a party in Huntington Beach, California, demonstrating once again the power of social media and the strong influence of TikTok. According to sources, a video was posted Saturday inviting people to gather on a beach for a party. The crowd quickly became violent and police quickly declared it an unlawful assembly, deploying tear gas and instituting a curfew as well. I didn't know this needed to be said, but apparently it does, so here we go. If TikTok tells you to go out and riot and beat people up, don't do it. JLo and Ben Affleck are back together and the couple seems happier than ever. The two were spotted at a private residence in Miami over the weekend and JLo seemed to be all smiles. Paparazzi was able to capture JLo on the balcony checking her phone while Affleck smoked a cigarette. We don't know how long they plan to stay here in Miami, but it seems they've been staying long enough to take sexy pictures together on their balcony to make Ava jealous. In an interview with Yahoo Finance, Google CEO Sundar Pichai compared the number of people trying to enter the tech field who lack necessary skills with the number of open jobs in the tech field left unfilled by a lack of qualified candidates. This is known in the tech world as the digital divide. To combat this, Google launched the Grow with Google initiative to teach people the necessary skills for free. It's a billion dollar commitment and so far it has been a total success. So Google is training more people to work in the tech field so that the price of labor goes down. Oh, how nice of them. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching the news, and we'll see you next time.